Welcome in, guys. That's right, I'm Pookie. I'm your Platinum Paladin. We're coming to you, actually, this is a new type of video. Um, so, the, well, new for me. Um, these, these have been over. I've seen a couple different trophy hunters post these, and they're super interesting, and they're basically this, uh, would you platinum? Would you platinum videos? And, I mean, there are a few games on my list where it's like, would I platinum? Sure. Would I 100%? I don't know. Um, but we're going to be checking out one of, one of my favorite games. Actually, dare I say my all-time favorite game, um, both original and remake. We are going to be checking out Resident Evil 2 today. We're going to go over the trophy list. We're going to talk about what's good about it, what's tough about it, uh, and we're maybe gonna answer that question i mean you know it's a it is kind of a hard question to answer for games in general because platinums do take time um you know whether they take a couple a couple of minutes for for some of the uh slogging games out there um or you know i mean you might have to run through a, a game a couple times that could be lengthy games like persona 5 take a really long time to platinum so it, it is a unique question, and we're just going to go ahead and pull up the trophy list here now. As you see, I was able to uh, to finally, and I do say finally, guys, um, get the 100% through the uh, through the Ghost Survivors. I uh, I am not very good at the Sheriff minigame. Let's just say that. But if we're looking at base game and asking the question, would you platinum? We got we have. Quite a few here. I mean, obviously the Platinum. We have the Raccoon City native. And then we have a bunch of campaign progression um, for both uh, Leon and for Claire. So starting out here is just this would be one that you would get either way. Welcome to the City of the Dead. Solving a statue. Um, completing Ada segment is limited to Leon, but completing Sherry segment is limited to Claire, of course. So it gives you a little added bonus for whoever you're playing. Um, you can get through the sewers, obviously beating the game with either character on, on any difficulty. Witnessing the true ending, um, that means you played through scenario one with one character and then played through scenario two with the other. Uh, so in my case, I played Claire first and finished the game with Leon. Um, so I got the true ending playing as Leon. Then we have a lot of, uh, a lot of, I, these, technically they're missables, but you would have to be trying really hard to, to miss some of these miscellaneous ones. And that's, you know, mixing herbs, um, increasing your inventory space, uh, uh putting a weapon part on, uh, obviously taking an enemy out with a knife, um, that is kind of missable unless you play the game on computer because <laughs> you kill a lot of people with knives on computer. Um, Counterattack with a sub weapon. Uh, boarding up a window uh, to keep the zombies out. Now the, uh, the, the true missables here are these here. Destroy a Mr. Raccoon. Uh, you have to collect those. Those are basically your, if we're talking about Assassin's Creed, they're your flags in this game. Um, opening a portable safe. Those are fun little mini puzzles. Uh, well, fun. I don't know, but definitely mini puzzles. Uh, obviously, opening a dial safe. The same kind of thing as the, the portable safe. There's a there's a code involved. You got to find it around the RPD. And then we have some of our fun ones now. Uh, you know, defend yourself with a grenade and then blast it. Uh, kill three enemies at once with a sub weapon. In this case, it's going to be a grenade. Um, shooting a liquor out of the air. I, I, I think I've shot a dog out of the air, but this happens most with liquors. They're a way bigger target. Um, keep their heads ringing. So I don't know if you can actually get this from throwing the flashbang on the ground. Every time I've gotten it though, a liquor jumped on me and I just shoved the flashbang in his mouth and then I shot it and that works. Um, shoot the tyrant's hat off of his head. That's a pretty easy one. That's probably the only time you should shoot at Mr. X um, throughout the entire game up until, 
you know, as it gets closer to wrapping. Defeating stage 2G using the crane only once. This is a thorough one. So, um, basically you're in an encounter where you have to use this crane to knock him off of the edge. And that will obviously complete the encounter. Um, <laughs> he is a wily one. Um, what I tried to do is make sure he goes down three times when I'm playing on console because he is a trickster you'll think you have it and then no you won't have it um but yeah what that's what i would aim for is try to down him three times and then call the crane and that should work fine for you using the photo hints find two hidden items uh, this is one of them is wesker's little desk stash no photos of rebecca here but um but yeah, the photos are of Wesker. One is of Wesker's desk. Like, hey, we're watching you, dirty man. Anyway, waste your space, maxing out inventory slots. Um, use, okay, this this one's actually not very hard. Uh, it's basically just don't shoot anything uh, outside of using her little, Ada's little spy gun. Um... Uh, it sounds harder than it is, I promise. Uh, this escape the bedroom within 60 seconds. This actually took me a couple tries. I do remember getting this. And it's, uh, Sherry has a little bit of a block puzzle to progress through her section. You got to solve that really quick. Um, uh, it's really trial and error. If you lay down a save just before Sherry's segment, you're going to be fine. Defeat stage 4G with four minutes left. This is the Claire fight. Um, you got to roost get out with uh, with stage 4G. And I, honestly, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it doesn't matter the difficulty on this fight. Like, just use your head and, and hit him with everything you've got. And the same deal here, defeating the super tyrant with, with five minutes left. It's, it's not hard. Um, on any difficulty that you do and I'm garbage at this tyrant fight from a speedrunning standpoint so you know it's all you got to do is just pay attention to his movements like you would any boss fight and just kind of keep an eye out and you'll be just fine those will come naturally um, lore explorer reading all the files this one is probably the most long-winded beyond difficulty trophies because this does require that you do four playthroughs of the game. You gotta get all the files in Leon's first scenario, Leon's second scenario, and then the same story for Claire first, Claire second. Um, there are only a few documents in each character's respective second scenario. So if you have a save loaded up, you might be able to, uh, to kind of get by that, but... It's easier, like in my case, it was actually easier to just play the entire game. We talked about the raccoons earlier, destroying all the raccoons, um, opening all the safes and locks. That's that's not super hard. Keep your eye out uh, for whiteboards and other fun things that tell you what the codes are. And go up to your respective locker safe and put the code in. Obviously, now we have our, our two... Uh, or, well, uh, why don't we just lump these are four golds because that's what they are um, Completely on with an S rank Claire with an S rank and then of course the two hard mode um, Trophies here's a here's a little fun fact. You can use infinite weapons to get through hardcore um, It is satisfying either way. I mean walking up and just blowing dudes away uh, with an infinite pistol or machine gun to get through and get your infinite rocket launcher. Oh, it's nice But well, actually you can't get the infinite rocket launcher if you don't do a legit unless of course you I, You can buy the token, but yeah to get the infinite rocket launcher You do need to do a legitimate hardcore run and get an S plus um, it's it's tough, but it's it's not impossible. I don't want to give the uh, the misconception that you can't do this because it is achievable, and uh, yeah, it's one of those. I would say start the game on normal. Uh, by the time you've done both runs, you're gonna be comfortable enough to where hardcore is not gonna give you too much trouble at all. 
Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. These three complete the game without using a recovery item, without opening the item box, and take 14,000 steps or fewer in one playthrough. So I'm going to say this. There is no step counter in this game that I've found. So just get really good at your routes. It's probably going to come over maybe two playthroughs. I mean, the uh, the second scenario playthrough is way shorter than the first, so you could probably get it by second playthrough. These two I do not recommend when you're first starting the game. These should be like, oh, I'm I'm done with hardcore. Maybe I'll throw one final run together on on easy and just do these two together because you can't grab an infinite item because they're in the item box and obviously um, if you're on easy mode the the enemies are going to deal less damage your health's going to recover naturally on its own uh, usually to just a bare caution state which if you're playing as claire actually makes you move faster so uh, there there are perks i guess so um and now the next question becomes is it worth it? Is it worth the trip? Because, well, hold on, we forgot... I'm sorry. We forgot about Hunk down here at the bottom. Completing the Fort Survivor Extra Mode, which is, is tough, but it is so much fun. Um, yeah, th those are the trophies you need for the Platinum. Now, of course, there are DLCs, you know, um, doing all of the Ghost Survivors, Mr. Raccoons doing the Sheriff Mode. Uh, and then there is uh, there's one trophy they they threw in there for the other survivor related to Resident Evil 3 make, which we will probably do another video um, platinum wise related to that. This trophy is super easy to get. You're going to run into the document as you're playing the game, so you don't even have to go out of your way to find it. That thing's going to pop while you're playing. And you're just going to be like, oh, OK, cool. All right. Awesome. Okay, back to the question at hand, I guess. Um, oh, should you platinum Resident Evil 2? Well, let's think about this a little bit. Honestly, like the Resident Evil 2 is is by no means a hard game. It it'll test your metal on hardcore mode, um, but by then you probably have a couple runs under your belt to figure out what's going on and what kind of game you're dealing with. Uh, as long as you're not parading around trying to kill everything you see, Resident Evil 2 really isn't a hard game. And from the trophy list, you gotta go through two playthroughs of the game to even get the true ending, a first scenario and a second anyway. So you're going to likely bag majority of the trophy list as you go. Uh, it's gonna be a few tedious things. Oh no, hardcore mode. Oh, the S rank. Or, uh, oh, I didn't do it with an item box. Uh, without opening the item box, rather, that are going to, I guess, be the, the challenging ones throughout. So Resident Evil 2, it seems like you can't approach this game, but it is actually a really easy Platinum. I, I would probably rank it straight to Plat, probably like tops a 4 out of 10, if not less. It's it's a very easy Platinum. Uh, it's a it's a AAA game. It's a really excellent adventure that will get you into a giant series of games. So yeah, if if you're just starting out or if you're a seasoned uh, trophy vet, go for it. There's no reason not to. It's a fantastic game over overall. Like so that's just my opinion. I mean, speaking of opinions, obviously sound off in the comments. Was Resident Evil 2 a hard platinum for you? Uh, was it really easy? Is it a good starting point if you're first trying to get kind of get your trophy list built up uh, with a few respectable games along the way? I want to hear from you guys. So definitely let me know uh, about your opinion on Resident Evil 2, the remake. Um, also, with this being the PS4 version, they, they're doing a PS5 upgrade. Will that have its own trophy list? Uh, do, do you want to consider holding off until the PS5 version comes out? Or are you just going to double up like me? Because I know, I know if there's a separate trophy list, I'm doubling up. Uh, anyway, gang, that's going to wrap it for this video. Obviously, if you want to stay up to date with all things on the channel, you want to like, you want to subscribe, you want to tag that bell for notifications. I am Pookie, I am your Platinum Paladin, you guys 
Have a good one.